，先按，等下来调调。
this one is boxing, um, deliver and personal appearance. Um, sometimes uh, we will, when, when we listen to speech or lecture, we will box on the speaker's hairstyle or those or speaker member. So don't judge people by the way they look or speak. And listen to what they say. And uh, don't do this because it's easy to become discouraged. And uh, how to become a good listener. Uh, take listening seriously. It's a practice and self discipline. And uh, it will make you listen effectively. And be an active listener. Um, don't prejudge the speaker. Don't be distracted by internal or external interference. And developing no technical skills. And uh, resist exploration. And I will show uh, two tips about this. The first one is review what the speaker has already said and make sure you understand it, it will help you stay at the box down what speaker said. The second one is try to accept that, accept that, but will come next. And uh, don't be delivered by appearance of delivery. <laughs> don't then negative feeling about a speaker's appearance or delivery keep you from listening to the message. So try not to be misled. And last one is the suspend judgment. You should hear people out before reaching a final judgment. And uh, try to understand their point of view. So the first one is listen to their ideas. Second one is examine their guidance. And third is assist their reasoning. Uh, and is make up your mind. Thank you. Let's welcome next presenter. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jason, and as Lewis mentioned about on how to become a better listener, and now I'm going to continue this category, which is focus your listening. But before looking into this category, I'd like to break this category into three main points. First one, listen for main points. Second, listen for evidence. Third, listen for techniques. And the reason I do this is because during a presentation or a speech, the speaker might have a lot of things to say. But it's very difficult for a listener to observe every single word of it. So, let's look at the first one. Listen for main points. So when I look at this topic, the first question that pops into my head is, now when or where can we clearly identify main point from a speech? So I found two pretty interesting results. The first one is after introductions. So a good speaker usually will demonstrate their introductions and will emphasize their main points right after their introductions. So the listener should pay extra attention at that time to know what the speaker is going to say next. And the second is before body of the speech. So as you're writing an essay, you always want a topic sentence to, to show that what you're going to talk about later on in your body paragraph. So it gives the reader clearly understanding of what you're going to talk next. And next is listen for evidence. So it's not only important to listen for main point, but also important to listen for evidence as well. The reason is the, the speaker's main point might have sometimes just be their, his assertion. So it's important for us to listen to the evidence on if it's reliable or not. So in order for us to verify if their sources is reliable or not, here are the four basic questions. Is it accurate? Is it taken from objective source? We don't want too much of personal opinion from his source, and is it relevant to the speaker's claim? Does this, this sources that he brings up have anything to do with what he just said? Is it sufficient to support the speaker's points? So after this four question, I found four, th four things, that is accuracy, objectivity, irrelevance, and sufficiency. These four things can give us uh, understanding like to verify if the speaker's supported evidence is right or not. The last is listen for techniques. When we as a listener we want to listen for a speech, it's important not only to listen what the speaker is trying to deliver the message across, but also listen to what their strength and weakness. 
if they are if they are effective, then we can see what are the method they use. And if they are not so effective, try to determine why they are not so effective. So later on, when one day you become a speaker, um, you can use their method to improve your speaking skills. And now let's welcome the next presenter. Hi everyone, uh, last presenter, I'm Iverson Wong. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about uh, the developer note taking skills. And speech students are always amazed at how easily their teacher can pick up uh, a speaker's main point with only a pen and a piece of paper. And when he is when a note taking club, no note taking. It's done properly. It is a sure fire for you to improve your uh, listening ability and uh, speaking ability. A good listener is uh, accurately summarized the uh, speaker's main points and make a clear note. And the key word here is done properly. Some speakers can, cannot take note effectively, and some don't laugh. And, and some inefficient note taker can, can. Oh, can, can probably suffer from problems. They don't know what they are. Listen for, and they don't know how how they record what they are to listen for. And the next is summary. Uh, our class givers chance to work on our listening ability and uh, speaking ability. And the most important cause of poor listening is giving into physical and mental distractions. In order to overcome these poor listening habits, let's take some steps. Step one, take listening seriously and uh, commit yourself to become a better listener. Step two, work as an active listener. Give your undivided attention to the speaker in a genuine effort to understand her or his ideas. Resist distractions. Make a conscious effort to keep your mind on what the speaker is saying. The next step, try not to be diverted by appearance or delivery. Step aside your company judgment based on the person's looks or manner of speech. Step five, suspend judgment until you have heard the speaker's entire message. Even if you think you are going to disagree. And step six, focus your listening by paying attention to main words, to evidence, and to the speaker's techniques. And step seven, develop your note-taking skill when done properly, check off speaker's ideas. It, is almost, it almost causes you to become a more attentive and creative listener.